Jersey Sports Zone's coverage of the Hun School is being brought to you by Princeton Orthopedic Associates. Tyler Washington and the Hun School come to Middletown for the Valerie Fun Showcase. The Raiders facing Wayne Hills at Modern Day Prep. The Patriots out of the Big North's Independence Division had a blazing start. Joe Belly with the steal and the lay-in. It's 8-0 Wayne Hills out of the gate. Then it's Belly with a great look inside to Jason Modak. Wayne Hills can't be stopped. 13-0 Patriots. Belly was the catalyst for a sensational first quarter. This is his second three of the opening stanza. Eight points of the first for Joey Belly. Wayne Hills up 19-3. One more dish from Belly. This time it's Pat Gilmore dropping the triple. At the end of one, Wayne Hills with a commanding 21-6 lead. Hun does a good job of cutting into the deficit in the second. Max Gusson with the jam here. The Raiders' Niles Lane has offers from UConn in Providence. Here he battles a defender, gets the tough shot to fall at the half. The Wayne Hills lead is whittled down to eight, 28-20. Third quarter, Hun looking to build on that solid second quarter effort. Lane climbs the ladder here, but the Raiders could never get closer than eight. Joey Belly, a great decision maker here. He weaves his way to the hole, count the basket and the foul. Belly committed to play college basketball at St. Anselm, and they are getting one solid player. Belly closing out the third quarter. He beats the buzzer from three. That's a huge basket. The lead goes back up to double digits, 42-31. There's no question Hun has athletes on their roster. Lorenzo Spinazzi running the open floor. He finds Niles Lane on the alley-oop. Lane had 16, but Wayne Hills would pull away in the fourth. Joe Cerrone able to get the banker to fall despite the contact. Wayne Hills goes on to a 59-42 win over the Hunt School. The Patriots improved to 12-5 on the season. Joey Belly leads the way with 18 points. We caught up with the Wayne Hills guard following a quality win at the Valerie Fund Showcase. It was a great win for us. We wanted to come in here. We wanted to establish things early. We got off to a great start, had a great first quarter, and we kind of took it from there. I mean, play, the game played pretty evenly uh, throughout the rest of the three quarters, so it was a good thing we had the lead in the first quarter. It gets us ready for our counties and our state tournament. We know, we know there's going to be the best teams that we're going to have to beat are teams like this, so it's a great preparation for what we have ahead.